my own suggestion to everybody who has some common sense and who doesn't want to spend uh, too much time uh, pursuing uh, useless uh, commentary is to ignore people like Rahul Gandhi. Nothing he ever says makes any sense. He has never done anything useful for uh, the people of India. My own suggestion to everybody who has some common sense and who doesn't want to spend uh, too much time uh, pursuing uh, useless uh, commentary is to ignore people like Rahul Gandhi because nothing he ever says makes any sense. Nothing he ever does uh, makes any sense. He has never done anything useful for uh, the people of India. Even today, when he is uh, on a campaign trail, he has not one idea to put forth for the development of the people, for taking India forward. His entire political narrative is about lying. His entire political narrative is about pulling India down. The electoral bonds issue, as the government of India and the Prime Minister has clarified repeatedly, is a move to move election funding from black money to white money to unaccounted cash and unaccounted and untraceable cash to accountable and traceable bonds. Now, whether the system is perfect or not, obviously the Supreme Court finds that it is not perfect. But to start arguing that uh, we should not have bonds and we should have black money funding, um, that is how uh, Congress ruled India for 65 years through all kinds of dubious sources of funds. And Rahul Gandhi is the last person who should talk about funding and dubious sources of funds because, uh, I mean, we know Beauforts, we know all of those scams that uh, his family is uh, legendary for. So my suggestion to people is, uh, as I do, I ignore the man because he does not add any value to what I want to do or what I, how I want to live or indeed any of the 1.4 billion Indians want to live.